Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Scorpio placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personals with me. Sending you guys a lot of love and lights, happiness, joy, and comfort on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below uh, in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, so let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Scorpio and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for Scorpio. And protect me, spirit, as I channel the messages here. So let's see, Scorps. 838 on the clock. Could be seeing those numbers. So we got the three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn Mars here. <laughs> the ace of cups. Okay. New love. Or new love for yourself. A spiritual upgrade. What else? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with another water sign. Wow, Ace of Wands. Nice. <laughs> I feel like something is real. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like something, too. Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's some sort of plan or something that's not working. Something is really just not working. You could be leaving somebody behind that hasn't learned from their past mistakes. Like, somebody just don't learn. Let's see. Let's keep going, though. But there's definitely new beginnings here. New passionate beginning. New creative endeavors. New um, spiritual upgrades. Okay, yeah. King of Swords. Okay, yeah. Because you know why? Archangel Michael is here. Archangel Michael is protecting you from something, I feel like. Or there's somebody that's, that's in this King of Swords energy that's very elusive or cold or aloof. They're not learning from their past mistakes. Something here, the contract is over with them. One or the other. But I feel like this could be a masculine in your life or this is you as a masculine Scorpio or whatever that could be setting boundaries or being like really authoritative, being very serious and strict. Okay, it's strict around here because <laughs> somebody not playing. Like, but let's see though. What else? Yeah, the Hierophant Taurus. Yeah. Okay, what else? I feel like something is protected. It's <laughs> like... The five of pentacles. Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> the four of swords, Libra, Jupiter. Somebody could be getting left out in the cold sexually. I just got that for Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. Somebody could be, somebody could want to have sex with somebody and they're turning it down. They don't want to have sex. They want love here. And that's what they're choosing want real love something emotionally fulfilling so this could be the love that you have for yourself or the love that you have uh, for a specific person some sort of lesson has been learned here there could be a new commitment coming in <clears throat> what's the three of pentacles in reverse the strength card and the eight of swords yeah, somebody, I feel like Leo energy. Maybe go watch Leo and the Eight of Swords. Somebody in their head a lot. They like tripping because they feel like somebody, somebody feels like they have a strong hold over you or your person or something like that. They don't. This person is in their head about it. Somebody is too, too strong. They, they're too confident. They know what they want or they know where they're headed. Okay, with the strength card um, coming out. Somebody feels like they can really control someone's mind and tame someone or like control them. It's no, <laughs> it's not working. It's not air yeah, tower. Yeah, that's going to be shocking to somebody. The tower with the four cups, with the fact that they're getting rejected or left out in the cold. This could be somebody that's stuck in their head about you or your person. What's the eight of swords? Someone could have a Gemini Jupiter. Jupiter. What's the eight of swords? This retrograde got me fucking talking crazy. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, Pisces.
Yeah, I feel like someone here is following their heart. Okay, that's what this is. Somebody's heart is pulling them in a different direction or pulling them towards something else. Okay, like someone here could be trying to be very charming or whatever the fuck. And that shit ain't working. What's the eight of swords with the knight of cups? Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, really listening to their intuition. Okay, Pisces, strong Pisces. Because somebody is listening to their intuition about following their heart, doing whatever they feel, this could be a romantic gesture and offer a date or something like that. Somebody here is actually interested in you possibly. And so whatever somebody is trying to do, their little plan is going to fail big time. Three of Pentacles in reverse, person. They're doing a really mediocre job, bitch. Whatever you're doing, it's not working. What's the strength card? <laughs> like, I'll, I'm sick of hearing about you bitches. And I'm glad people in the collective are fucking waking the fuck up and not going backwards. What's the strength card? All right, four of wands. Exactly. The devil, the ace of wands, the four of cups. It rejected. Somebody here wants to have sex with somebody or they want to control somebody. You with their wand okay this is what they ass doing this could be the hermit the three of pentacles there's the three of pentacles upright with the page of swords and the five of cups somebody is watching somebody closely to see who they're dating or who they're with to see how they can like strategize or plan or do spell work is what i just heard somebody could be doing like magic to try to Yeah, that's what's going on in the collective right now. There's magic being done or there's some sort of dark entity that's being conjured up and sent, dark demon that's being conjured up and sent out to attack your relationships. And this time with whatever this is, it's not going to work. Someone could have an Aries Venus here. Somebody could have a sex addiction or they just, something is just very lustful. It's just very sexual. It's like, that's crazy. Um... <clears throat> four wands aries venus yeah so this is like um completion you celebrating you feeling whole and complete within yourself or you achieving some sort of goal okay but there's a strong connection here the strength card with the um four wands this could be a very strong union or a very strong relationship with somebody or you just really leveled up here we got the high priestess and the hierophant again I got that for Leo. Maybe go watch Leo's reading. Yeah, something is too strong. I feel like you've graduated. You've upgraded spiritually too. You definitely upgraded spiritually. So whatever this is, it's really blocked out your energy. What's the Ace of Cups? Somebody trying to rain on your parade. Yeah, the lovers. What's the Ace of Cups with the lovers? Gemini energy. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So there's there's definitely been like delays and setbacks here to your love life with the lovers in, uh, the lovers here showing up with the seven of pentacles in reverse. It's been a lot of frustration and shit, but something here something here is not growing. It's not being nurtured with the seven of pentacles in reverse. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Or oh, you you pull back your energy from something. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, whatever this investment is, it didn't work. Whatever this is that somebody is looking into, because now, I mean, this hermit and the three of pentacles, this also talks about you doing the doing the inner work here. You've mastered something about yourself. You definitely did. So whatever, whatever introspection or soul searching you've done, you've gained some sort of skill here. I'm, I'm hearing too occult knowledge. You could have occult knowledge here. Somebody knows how to do magic really well. It's for healing purposes, not to harm anyone. So if, somebody's, if it's somebody dark attacking you, it's not working. It's not working. It's definitely not going to work this time because you've healed something that blocked this, this magic out. Could be a Virgo here. They could be working with other people. But the amount of work that you've done is bringing the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which is a bad investment. <laughs> like somebody here wasted their money, their time, whatever. What's the lovers here? The lovers talks about balance, duality, your yin and yang. Okay, yeah, four of cups. Oh, mm hmm Somebody trying to cause a stalemate and stop you from meeting someone or um being with like with a kindred spirit, a soulmate. I feel like this person is trying to keep connecting to you. 
spiritually. This is a spy. It's like a monitoring spirit here. <laughs> Four of Cups talks about a missed opportunity or somebody being rejected. You're being rejected out this person's energy. Like you're, or you're you're pushing them out the out your energy. There could be a connection that you have now that's actually meant to be. Because I feel like real love definitely defeats um all this magic shit. Like if somebody genuinely fuck with you, they care about you, they love you, or they like you or whatever the fuck. And it's like somebody got good intentions. Yeah, it's blocking it out. The Hierophant with the Seven of Wands. Whatever this new um love is or this newfound love that you have for yourself, it's definitely blocking something out. It just is. It just is. It's like, too, I just heard, like, I don't see nobody but you. So somebody is like really laser focused on you. Like they don't see nobody but you. Okay. Like what's the ace of wands? <laughs> the fool. What's the ace of wands with the fool? Aquarius. Yeah. And the ace of pentacles. Seven of cups, ace of cups, six of swords. Somebody here could be traveling or moving or there's some sort of like um, new idea here when it comes down to your creative endeavors, um, your money. Damn, we got three aces, ace of wands, ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. So somebody's taking a, a leap of faith and going towards a new beginning. They want something more solid and stable. Sex could be on the cards for somebody like somebody could be like getting some sort of sexual invitation or some sort of like lustful things that somebody could could be wanting to do or could have been doing but they're not they're choosing not to they're choosing to go towards something more solid stable secure with the ace of pentacles what's the ace of pentacles right here definitely a new money opportunity maybe a chance for somebody to move okay yeah three of cups what's the ace of pentacles with the three of cups cancer mercury Damn. Okay, yeah, look, the Magician in Reverse and the Knight of Wands, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Sagittarius. <sighs> Child. <laughs> This is this is magic. It's this ritual that somebody continues to do. It's something around your sacral chakra, like... Mm. But they're definitely monitoring monitoring you. And they're trying to see like if you're going to... Because it's something that they're getting from doing this. They're getting some sort of abundance or something from your energy. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But it's definitely some sort of magic, ritual, voodoo, hoodoo, whatever the fuck it is. They're doing it. And it's not working. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Could be connecting to a past life soulmate. Okay. And something is meant to be, just period. It's meant to be. It's like you the ace of ace of swords with the two of cups is like, aha, I found the one. Or aha, I know this is my person. Like I'm in love. Or this is somebody that I can actually partner with. This is a good friend. I know they're for me. Whatever it could be. Knight of Swords. It's definitely like determined, somebody being focused and taking action, being assertive, okay? Like, so whatever somebody is trying to do to get you to meet in and out people, have in and out behavior, or have your person do this, because they could be attacking every person you deal with too. That's what this is. Like, somebody is crazy and it's not fucking working. What's the King of Swords? I'm not finna spend too much damn time. Yeah, the moon in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, and the Emperor. So there's something that's being revealed. There's a secret, okay, that could be coming out. Or this is just you moving away from any fears, anxieties, or worries. Okay, because you do have some sort of protection around you. Like, or this is this person that's protecting you, this Emperor. We're going to see who they are. Or spirit is, is coming in to bring you some sort of confirmation about somebody that sits up in a position of authority. Whoever this is, is probably an occultist or they're 
they're really skilled at something that they've been doing, but bitch, not that skilled. It don't look like it. Um, but this could also be too. You have an actual divine masculine around you that's for you. And um what what's what's the emperor? They have Aries in their chart. Yeah, something here failed. The world in reverse. What's the emperor with the world in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this this could be your new love right here. This emperor. We got the Ace of Cups twice. Yeah, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. <laughs> Whoever this emperor is, I feel like there's maybe other things in your past failed here with people that look like emperors, but they're not. But I feel like something is not, it's not going to work on this emperor because they're a true divine masculine. It's like, they're not perfect by any means necessary. Well, by any means, but they are definitely a true divine masculine. Like they take accountability when they're supposed to. They're not a liar. They're not a cheater. They're not none of that. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is nice. It's, it's happening with a lot of people now, especially people that are in twin flame connections. I'm even seeing it in my personal. I did a really nice personal reading the other day, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Two nice ones, I think. This person could have can uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong in their chart, or Aries. Yeah, this is somebody that takes action. They're very, they're very boss like. Okay, a real man, a real woman, whatever it is. So whatever, something here, a goal didn't get achieved. Something is not going to work on this person. Whatever, whatever this attack is, definitely ain't working on this person because nothing here seems to move this person. Like they're not scared of anything, or they're not like this person can have some sort of spiritual ranking here too. Like you do. What's the moon in reverse? Yeah, five of wands. What's the moon in reverse? Five of wands. Ace of swords in reverse, yeah. <laughs> so this could be somebody that has some sort of animosity. This could be this could be somebody that has some sort of animosity towards this emperor. This could be a third party on this emperor's end. I keep getting this on the masculine's end because I got it. Yeah, the empress, exactly. Seven of wands. There's like a double layer of protection here. This is like because this person already showing up in divine masculine energy. They already show, they have some sort of spiritual ranking just like you. So imagine y'all two together, which it looks like y'all getting ready to be together. <laughs> okay. Um, Very strong connection. But the Ace of Swords in reverse is like an argument. Like somebody is in a hostile environment where there could be a lot of bickering or fighting going on. Or there's like competition or something like that. That something is going to fail though with the Ace of Swords in reverse. And somebody's going to be mad because it's not going to work. Or their 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 magic is not working or whatever this is. Because I feel like there's magic being done to bring a lot of chaos and conflict in your connections. And at this time it's not working because you've done the work to master yourself to the point where you've met a real divine masculine. <clears throat> It's all because of your own doing. <laughs> You've done the work here. And this Divine Masculine seems to have done the work as well. So whatever somebody's doing, it's not working. You got four. You got, okay, yeah, you got all four aces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, but it's in reverse. <laughs> Somebody here is trying to like make up a big ass lie <clears throat> and to cause an argument. The tempers just came out. Definitely a lot of protection. Somebody's going to lie and say something about this masculine or lie and say something about you to start a fight and argument between you two. But before this person, that's what I'm saying. Somebody has integrity. They have integrity. That That's that's a turn on. I'm turned on. <laughs> like, I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand a fucking liar and a damn loser. This person, I don't know. It feels good, though. This person got too much love for you to lie. What's the Hierophant? <laughs> Page of Swords with the, the uh, judgment. So I feel like once you get some sort of information or gain some sort of clarity, you're going to forgive and give this person a second chance. Okay, it's not one of them second chances where it's like this person didn't really fuck you over one too damn many times. I'm not talking about that. 
something is worth a second chance with somebody because I feel like there was somebody trying to cause conflict and you know it. You know what this is about. You're awakened. And so is this person. So there's nothing that can really break y'all two apart with great communication and and um bringing love into a situation. It's not going to break it apart. Just period. No. What's the Hierophant? The Ten of Wands. What's the Hierophant with the Ten of Wands? <laughs> the Star. Yeah. Somebody, you're too strong. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, so you have it in your chart. Ten of Wands is like something being released, something being let go. You're walking away from some sort of extra responsibility or there's like dead weight or a burden here that needs to be released i feel like you're regrouping you're recovering you're healing okay somebody could definitely be seen in a public eye as a spiritualist it's like you're just ranked up spiritually it's like that's what i'm saying you just ranked up spirit you just reached a new level in your journey and uh spiritually so whatever this is what's the ten of wands it's because you release something or you learn some sort of lesson you had a death card in reverse uh what's the ten of wands with the death card in reverse the ten of swords in reverse yeah whatever the shit is ain't working mm. somebody refuses to release you they refuse to let you go but they won't change their ways they refuse to stop hexing and cursing. And it's like you're walking right over this hex or curse. It's like you're walking right through it. It's not working. Something is literally not working. I feel like you're overcoming obstacles, betrayal, hurt, whatever, pain. Child, <clears throat> the worst is yet to come for their ass, though. Because you haven't, like, this person hasn't ended you like they thought you, they was going to be able to end you or hurt you in some sort of way. It's not. It's not going to work. Could be a Gemini here, a Scorpio could be significant, a Sagittarius. Somebody could have a Sag Saturn. All they're gonna do is just be weighed down. This person can't survive without your energy. And now they really getting ready to be fucked up. Yeah, three of swords, because they 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 need your like energy in some sort of way. It's not working. What's the what's the star? <laughs> what's, this is some demonic shit, but whatever. What's the star? Yeah, page of swords and the knight of pentacles. <clears throat> yeah. So somebody here is watching you or they could have a whole coven or a whole institution watching you. I don't know. <laughs> You're somebody very special here. But um, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, you're definitely seen in the public eye. So somebody is watching you and they've been slowly doing something. Like somebody is very strategic and methodical in how they move. Okay. Um, it looks like somebody here did something devilish. <clears throat> they made some sort of... It's like, it's like this person made some sort of deal with the devil to fucking do whatever. It's like somebody here sold they soul. Okay. They they like being connected to you because you bring about like success, abundance, and a lot of wealth. Okay, this person is obsessed with your like energy or something. Okay, what's the page of swords? <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, freedom, nine of pentacles. This could be, somebody here could have a very successful business. You could have a very successful business. This person could be watching you at work. Like I said, if you're seen in a public eye or something like that, somebody's like watching you. They play a lot of mind games or they're a player or they just try to get gain information on you and where you're at in your journey to see how they can come in and do whatever the fuck they're doing. But it's not working, so it don't even matter. I feel like you're free, you're independent, you're self-sufficient, like you're good. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. I feel like that's what this person wants, though. They want to be attached to you because you bring so much wealth. And you got some sort of status. Like, that's what this person really wants. They want to be a part of you for whatever reason. This person is dark. Okay. 
and they're trying to create a whole bunch of bullshit here that's not happening. What's the Five of Pentacles? I feel like you've mastered the art of having like patience and things like that. Gathering information before you start idolizing some shit. I feel like somebody here really just think that you're still naive or something. What's the <clears throat> Five of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? Aquarius, Mercury. Yeah, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, period. Somebody getting left out in the cold. That's just what it is. That's just what the fuck it is. Okay, or you've been left this person out, but they just continue to follow you. <clears throat> Somebody see you celebrating, having a good time, taking risk here, going towards your new beginning. And um, they just want to keep trying to manipulate you. But the Six of Swords is definitely you moving into calmer waters, moving forward, healing. And you're coming out like victorious. This person just waiting to catch you doing something. No, waiting to catch you fucking slipping. It's not happening. Let me see. What's the Six of Wands? <laughs> You guys will be saying 666. Yeah, Will of Fortune and the Page of Wands. Yeah, this is you having new exciting plans, moving forward, traveling, doing you. Yeah, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment, and the Ten of Cups, I mean the Sun. You could be meeting a Scorpio or Virgo or, yeah, strong Scorpio possibly. They could have Leo in their chart somewhere. I don't know. But the Page of Wands is definitely you moving on. And moving into peaceful and calm waters. You ain't tripping over nobody or their magic or whatever this is. It's just over with. <laughs> and then whoever the fuck you getting ready to be with, this person here. They got extra protection of damn sales, so. What else? So we have buttering up, using charm, persuasion for personal gain and finesse. <laughs> it's not working. Key player, important person, playing an essential role, irreplaceable, period. Yeah, somebody here trying to butter somebody up or something like that, but you're the, the star. You're the key player. I feel like they, either they could be trying to butter you up, somebody could be trying to butter you up or butter your new person up or your person that you're dealing with up, but it's like you're the key player here. You're the person that is not going to be replaced, especially in this situation because whatever this is that's coming in for you seems to be real, so... And because you're so spiritual, like you're so spiritually high ranked, your footsteps are being like completely divinely guided. So whatever somebody's trying to do, spirit is like coming right behind them to block it out. It's like something that's really extraterrestrial. You can't see it. It's energy. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Keeping it 100. Honesty, showing true colors, transparent intentions. Exactly. what I say? Like, what's buttering up? Yeah, bye, Felicia. Yeah, in reverse. Peacing out. Thank you, next. Leaving and not caring. Yeah, somebody here gives a fuck. They care that you walked away. And they don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> but you're leaving. You're leaving. What's key player? Yeah, numbing. <laughs> Self-medicating. Drinking away problems. Distracting with substances. What's keeping it 100? All the feels. I'm telling you. Spiritually woke. Dating scene. Yeah, spiritual narcissist. Somebody keep attacking you. That's my spell work card. Spiritual Narcissist, SOS. <laughs> They're like, hurry, hurry. We need to act with urgency. Bitch, too late. <laughs> too fucking late. Deep love, soul connection, feeling at home with all the feels card right here. Yeah, this is like something is just cannot be denied between you and somebody. You found your person. It's just what it feels like. Throwing shade, criticizing, disrespect, judgmental, <laughs> vibing. On the same page, like attracts like, a feel-good connection. Trash, in reverse. Rejection, taking out the trash, kicking to the curb. Yeah, somebody's not kicking you to the curb. <laughs> like, that's what somebody wants to want to do. It's not working. What's throwing shade? I mean, who gives a fuck? Y'all bitches always fucking, and you weird. 
Uh, throwing shade is clarified by swept up head over heels, falling in love, intense emotions. <laughs> What's vibing? Yeah, heart to heart. That's what I'm saying. Heart to heart. This person, they got your heart, you got theirs. It's just like undeniable. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> like, it just is. Deep conversations, intimate discussions, blunt and honest. Which trashed in reverse? This is beautiful. <laughs> it's like you just know when you found the one. Yeah, vacation, period. Somebody <laughs> wine and dine. Romantic getaway, spending time together, enjoying one-on-one -on -one time. Like somebody, this person here, they in love with you or they're going to be. This is going to be a really nice connection, Scorpio. <laughs> Some people can try to fuck this up all they want. It's not going to work. We got turn here. Party, animals, sex, drugs, and alcohol, indulging in surface pleasures. Yeah. Penny pinching, financial struggles, saving up, budgeting. And then we have hands off, territorial lover, staking claims, scaring off the competition. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. What's turn here? Get somebody here. Yeah, we have viral, instant fame, going around quickly, gaining popularity. <laughs> What's turn with what's viral right here? What's viral? What's going viral? Or something, yeah, hung up. Okay, so something could be going around. Like there's like a rumor or something saying that you're like this, or this person here is getting exposed because it say fixated, obsessive attachment, focusing in, or yeah, it's something here that's going viral, maybe online. If something is driving somebody insane here, this person can't stop drinking or having sex, overindulging in certain things, they got problems. That they need to handle 909 on a clock that ain't got shit to do with you. This person here is just upset about you moving forward. <sighs> but they could be watching you online because you are going viral. It's something that you do. Or it's, it's coming out with the fact that this person is really like hung up on you. They can't leave you alone. What's penny pinching? Or they can't leave this person alone. Yeah, bossing up. This you. Bossing up and they penny pinching. Or they were like this, bossing up, self-empowerment, independently living, leading the pack. Wine and dine, red flag, trolling. So yeah, somebody here is trolling, doing shit online, watching you stalking because you're dating and this is a red flag for somebody. Or they're being warned to stop doing this shit. They're being warned to stop trying to love bomb somebody because there's a brick wall here. Something is not working and they could have an STD. Child, get the fuck out of here. This <laughs> is like, what's hands off? This person here, breadcrumbing. Yeah, it's like they want to keep you for their own selfish satisfaction and own personal gain. Okay, it says little effort being laid on, not ready to commit. It, or, I mean, since they can't seem to like get you in a 3D, they're like, well, if it ain't going to be me, then I'm just going to try to send out some sort of magic or something like that so they can be with the wrong people. And then you'll end up leaving them anyway because they know how you are. They know that you know your worth. They know that you're growing, you're healing. They know that you're not going to stand anything where it's not equal give and take. This person studies you. They know you. <laughs> well, they think they do, but they know enough to have done all this shit thus far. Mm -hmm. We have... We have Siren Call here. Sexual tactics, gaining attention, lured by temptation. <laughs> adulting yeah mature efforts being responsible keeping shit in check and zero fucks disregard unfazed unbothered and carefree yeah so somebody here is trying to turn this masculine on that's what this is whatever this is that somebody sends out this magic 9 11 on the clock it's like a lustful energy and the wrong masculine is going to get caught up in this the right one is not it doesn't look like they are over here <laughs> so excuse me What's Siren Call here? Throwing hands, <laughs> disagreements, hostility and animosity, conflict and fighting and giving heart. Yeah, somebody here want to fight because they, because <clears throat> somebody gave you their heart or somebody on this masculine's end that wants to kind of like fight and argue with them or try to lure them in with sex because... Somebody here, it says showing love, caring actions, and selfless gestures. Like, somebody here really loves you. They care about you. Somebody do, man. It's either it's coming in now or 
is coming in down the line. I don't know. I don't know, but what's adult in here? Yeah, cuffed. Yeah, somebody on their big boy, big girl shit, just period. That's what I'm talking about. Whoever this is, I like this mess. Whoever this is, I like them. <laughs> like, I like them for you. Or this could be a woman, whatever the fuck. I don't know. But I feel like you, Divine Feminine, have been the one having a hard time. Because somebody keeps doing spell work on your love life. It's not working this time, buddy. <laughs> it's a cuffed, off-the-market, committed relationship, inaccessible, period. Somebody here. Mm. <laughs> so. We got honeymooning, period. Love on the brain, talking often, feeling all the feels. People pleaser, overgiving, nice guy or girl syndrome, doing anything and everything, and Netflix and chill. Chill day, quality times, intimate moments. So somebody here, this is this other person that hasn't learned their lesson. This person here is a people pleaser, and they want you to kind of like be in this energy of overgiving as well. <clears throat> they like, what's people pleaser? Self-doubt, yeah, questioning worth, feeling undesirable, self-lag. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you mastered this lesson in order for you to actually get ready. See, even get to the point where you can honeymoon with somebody. Like, you can't even fucking get past the talking stage with a motherfucker before you can get married or get a relationship or even move in with a motherfucker. Like, I, you can't even get past that part. You feel me? It's what it feel like. It's like, what the fuck? What's um honeymoon here? Honeymooning. <laughs> booty call sexual I mean beck and call sexual invitation all about the sex and hook up <laughs> uh, somebody here could be married to somebody F fling friends with benefits non-committal it's like somebody's already in a contract with somebody but they're in an illusion okay something is an illusion because it's just it's not real it's more so this person is not in a solid commitment what they feel like it is what's netflix and chill man knocked up damn <laughs> pregnancy baby on the way expected what's netflix and chill knocked up <laughs> so dating scene casual dates keeping options open going with the flow <laughs> what's netflix and chill with knocked up and dating scene what Cock blocking, yeah. Some of y'all are going to fall pregnant. Okay. It's an inaccessible third party interference is failed sexual attempts. I feel like somebody is trying to stop you from being able to have uh, babies and get into a marriage with somebody. That's their whole goal. They're in some sort of cult or coven here. They, But they're in a new contract though with somebody else. Whoever this is that keeps stalking you and shit. Some of y'all about to get pregnant. Ooh, we. <laughs> like, I don't know. Mm. It's a reading up, doing the research, learning more, gaining insight. Yeah, somebody is saying that you're chilling with somebody or you getting ready to Netflix and chill with somebody. What else? <laughs> and they're trying to cock block it. They know, they know it's about that time for you. Mm -mm. We got flexing, showing off, prideful and conceited, flashy and boastful. <clears throat> or this this masculine that already it's somebody on their end that already got in, that's already in a relationship <clears throat> and they netflix and chill with somebody and got pregnant but they trying to cock block you and your person it's like bitch move around okay well, we have flexing showing off prideful and conceited flashy and both when we got splitsville <laughs> separation breaking up leaving it behind Then we got badass, period. That's you. Flatlining. Beep. Something is dead. It's done. It's over. Just period. Say confident and bold. Forced to be reckoned with. Taking no shit. <clears throat> You're done with this, this spiritual contract or the soul tie or whatever this is that binded y'all two together. It's over. <laughs> like it is over so it's like you broke some sort of hex or curse or something last quarter moon in pisces talk less feel more 
Full moon and Libra find balance here. Go watch Leo. Last quarter moon and Capricorn leave the past behind. Full moon and Aries cool your emotions. And we got uh, full moon and Aquarius. Be real. What's last quarter moon and Pisces? Talk less, feel more. First quarter, first quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. So yeah, something here is not too good to be true. Like it's really real, I feel like. Believe that this is happening for you. You need to believe it. Stay in an optimistic energy. <laughs> Talk less and feel more. So there's something that you need to be paying attention to when it comes down to like your feelings possibly. Like listen to what your intuition is telling you. Or just observe, like really pay attention. What else? What's full moon and Libra? Find a balance. Full moon and Cancer, let your fears dissolve. And new moon and Scorpio, go deeper. That was in reverse. Somebody can't go deeper because you found balance. <laughs> you let your fears dissolve. What's the last quarter moon in Capricorn? Leave the past behind. First quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Yeah. What's full moon in Aries? Cool your emotions. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. What's full moon in Aquarius? Be real. No moon in Pisces. Attune to the divine. No moon in Taurus. Know your worth. So we got Aries strong. Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Cappy. Aquarius. Definitely strong Scorpio was here. So <clears throat> this was your reading, um, Scorpio. I hope that this resonated. It looks like you got somebody coming in that's real with you. Like this person's gonna be real with you. They ain't gonna hide shit. They gonna really love you. <laughs> like, I'm serious. 919 on the clock, you could be seeing. So this was your reading. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.